Hi, my name is Linda and I'm an addict. You don't usually see me at, in front of the camera like this. I'm usually the one behind the camera, allowing Bill to share his experience, strength, and hope. But I think it's time for me to take a risk and step out from behind the camera, away from the keyboard, and share a little bit of myself with you. Today I'd like to talk about surrender, and not surrender in the broadest aspect, more a women's perspective on surrender. And that, that, that can be a little different than a man's experience in surrender. Uh, sometimes we've spent a lot of our, our lives surrendering to individuals that had power over us. It was a very negative experience. Uh, we surrendered for good reasons. We wanted to keep ourselves safe, perhaps our children safe. Perhaps we surrendered to an employer that was using his power, or her power, in a very negative way. We did it to keep peace in the house. And when we've moved away from these situations over time, and we've come into recovery, we're now being asked again to surrender our will and our lives to a power greater than ourselves, our higher power, our concept of God, and that can sometimes rub us the wrong way. It's misunderstood, and well, I'm, I'm here today to talk about a way that that we can kind of better understand that concept. Um, I know for myself, uh, I surrendered for many years so that my partner wouldn't be angry. He could have his way. And even though it tore me up inside, it was not perhaps the healthiest thing to do for myself, I kept on doing it over and over again. And coming into recovery, being told to surrender, felt like I was, I was going to betray myself. I had just got my will and my life handed back to me into this wonderful world of recovery, and I was being told to give it away again. But I'm giving it away in a very different way. I'm being asked to surrender to something positive. I'm being asked to surrender my will and my life to the God of my understanding who only wants good, positive things to come into my life and to help me maintain my recovery and see it be wonderful and blossom. Uh, in, in front of uh, my lives and in front of maybe my family's lives and eyes as well. It, it can be very confusing and very challenging to understand that I may have to surrender more than once. I may have to surrender over and over and over again. In my case, on a daily basis and it's okay it's okay to have to surrender over and over again this is allowing the God of my understanding to help me maintain my recovery and to reach out and help others well, something like I'm doing right now I'm bringing this message to you in the hopes that it'll help you understand that it's okay to surrender to the God of your understanding, to Creator, and perhaps to help other women new in recovery to understand that it's okay. It's okay to not understand, it's okay to resist, and most importantly, it's okay to surrender. This is a positive, nurturing, surrender. Uh, sometimes when I'm faced with a situation that 
I feel I have to resist and I don't want to surrender. I need to understand and remind myself again that to surrender to a situation brings me peace and understanding that much quicker. And as soon as I can bring peace and acceptance into my life about something, the better I can understand it and affect change in this situation. And perhaps just let go and move on. Uh, these, are, these are things that I know for me came with a lot of years of trying and struggling and eventually understanding. And hopefully I'm, I've been able to communicate this with you today. Um, thank you so much for visiting our, our blogs and watching our videos, both on our blog, on our Facebook page, and uh, maybe I'll find the strength and maybe you can help me with that point and support uh, our messages. Help me find the strength to come out from behind the camera that much more often and tap in and be able to be courageous one more time or more times than that. Feel free to suggest topics that you want discussed from maybe a men's perspective, a women's perspective, or any other perspective that you, that you may think of. Feel free to ask us to even research different topics. We'll be happy to discuss them down the road. Thank you again for supporting us here on www.askanalcoholic.com. I wish you all the very best. Uh, have a wonderful week, a clean, sober, positive week. And I wish you the very, very best week possible. Again, with love and with light, I am Linda. Thanks again. Bye-bye.